All right, so today we're going to talk about this Orts Gaming, uh, what, what I guess Nintendo Switch shell, I think is what they call it. I've seen a lot of shells like this available on Amazon or at Walmart. Uh, it comes in this box here, it says for N Switch, case with stand, full protection, lightweight, durable, fashion design apparently, accurate cutout with a card slot and a stand. Supposedly, this is a frosted, scratch-resistant back, which, I mean, sure. I don't know why that really matters, but it's a frosted, scratch-resistant stand. Holds five games. Um, the games stay in there pretty well, so, I mean, I guess that, that that's a plus. Um, but overall, I'm not going to be using this. Now, there's a, a few things I don't like about it. One, it is extremely hard, which is good for protection reasons, I suppose. But if you look closely, um, let's see how well this even shows up um, against a more straight back. This is bent. So when this came, it goes like this and then it curves down. It is not straight. Um, and that's something that I concern myself with, certain that there's that whole bend gate situation with Switch. So anything that is trying to make the Switch bend a certain way is not something that I like. Now, another thing I don't like about this is how you put this dang thing in. Okay, so here's my switch, and there's no instructions on how to do it. So I've, I've tried multiple different ways of doing it. So first, I just tried. Well, let's just put it in. Let's uh, let, let, let's 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 slide it in. Um, how? Do it, is it is it like this? I, there's no easy way to insert it. So the easiest way I found is if you take off the Joy Cons, and then uh. I actually kind of go top to bottom since the top part is actually bent. Um, and then you just kind of push it in and it slides in like that. And then you're like, well, what about the joy cons, right? Well, yeah, we need the joy cons. So let's, let's get them in. Um, uh, uh. So this is the easiest way to get the switch in the way I'm comfortable with putting it in, but you can't get the joy cons in and without the joy cons in, this is irrelevant. So let's pop out the switch attempt to pop out the switch again i don't like how this is designed it's almost too hard to get things in so the way you're supposed to do it then actually is apply a lot of force on your switch and i'm doing this um <laughs> even though i don't like how this is designed so i i, I kind of start with this bottom corner down here i push it in get it in over there and then over here i really gotta push and bend my joy con okay i got that in now i gotta get this over the top uh, and I'm pushing. Now my Joy-Con popped off. Like, this is not good. Oh. 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 There you have it. It's it's on. Did you see how difficult that was? How dangerous that was? Now, it's got some protection for the buttons, power button. It does work. Um, volume up and down works. Uh, you can access the game card, although I had trouble at time accessing the game card slot because it's recessed in a little bit too much. For my liking, you can get to the USB-C port on the back. So, as you'll notice, it, the lip goes a little bit over the Joy-Con, so the Joy-Con's not going to pop off. So that's kind of a bonus for me since the clips on my Joy-Cons are broken. And ultimately, once it's in here, I mean, it feels solid. That's the thing. I don't like... This is not a case you buy to constantly take your Switch in and out now also because it's thicker it's not even don't even bother putting it in the dock it's not going to work you're going to have to charge it by just taking the charge cord plugging it in the wall and then plugging it into the USB-C on the bottom now the use case for this is why i'm not going to be using it and the use case is that this is something that you would never take apart you always play your switch this way all the time that's what this case is for and if that is your cup of tea I can suggest you use this. Um, it, it makes sense. This back plate's far enough away that it doesn't get in the way of my fingers as I curve around the controllers. Uh, it does add a little bit of extra heft to the controllers to make it feel more solid in your hand. This is a more pleasurable holding experience than the Switch by itself. So th there are some positives to this. And again, all you do is play portable. You never detach the Joy-Cons. This is great. Uh, you know, the additional weight aside, this is, is, is great. And I mean, I feel safe dropping my Switch and, you know, whichever way it wants to land, obviously besides down like this on the sticks. I mean, it all feels great. Um, but for my purposes, that someone who takes it in and out of the dock a lot, this is useless. Um, because 
while I might want to put this on when I'm traveling, it is so hard to get out of here, as you're going to see in a moment. Now, before we get to how hard it is to get out, I also want to talk about this. So they advertise on here that this is a kickstand, that this thing covering the games doubles as a kickstand. Now, the paperwork they sent me says adjustable kickstand. Well, there's no adjustment. Um, it, there, there's basically here and then here, right? So it's got two spots. Wait, watch, watch what happens when I try to put it at the one. Just the one where it's at like this this 90 this 90 degree angle. Watch what happens. It just falls anyways. So you get one angle, and that one angle is looking down at the screen in such a way that uh, there's barely any space between it and the table. And what sucks about this angle is even if you wanted to rest this on the table for tabletop mode, you can't really get your fingers around the controller. You're just, you're, you're just running into the table. Uh, so... It's a useless kickstand unless I just want to sit here and stare down and watch Hulu or something. Um, and that's not really how most people are going to want to use a kickstand. Uh, the kickstand on the Switch itself stands it more up like this. Uh, you know, kind of at that angle, which is more useful for when you're laying in bed and want to watch Hulu. Or for actual tabletop mode. Because the thing is, this for tabletop mode, i got to take the entire Switch out to get the Joy-Cons off. So it's just... It's not practical is what I'm saying. Um, so, yeah, I wouldn't buy this for the kickstand use. Uh, I would buy this for basically two reasons. Um, one, if you're looking for a hard case uh, that will protect your Switch that you never plan to take off. Two, if you want a hard case that also has storage for up to five physical games. Obviously, when we're on the go, we're always, you know, playing digital stuff. But if you need to bring some physical games with, this is a kind of an all-in-one solution, uh, especially if you're not going to bring a separate case or bag for your Switch. So you just grab this, grab the cords, slap the games that you want to take with you, and go. You, you're, you're set. Uh, it, it's actually an undecently portable experience. Uh, but for my purposes, I can't use it. The kickstand, too flimsy. Um, sometimes I've had it pop off like this where it's kind of here doing that slapping. Um, I've had that happen a couple times. Um, it's not, you know, frequent. You have to, you know, really force it to make it happen. But, um, yeah, I mean, and, and obviously my negative is because I have to take it off so much. Like, look how hard it is for me to get this thing out of here. Mm. I feel like I'm either going to break my switch or I'm going to break the case. There's, like, no easy way to take this off. It, it is so, look, it even includes, I don't know how you would do it, but it includes a, a place to put a strap, apparently. You want to carry it on your wrist? It's a little heavy to do that, but I honestly don't even remember how I got this out of here the first time. This thing is so hard to get off. I it, it's unbelievable. I mean, I'm I'm really struggling here. I guess the easiest way to take it off the top. Maybe that's why the top came bent from testing, <laughs> from just trying to get the dang thing out of here. God, I'm really reefing on those Joy Cons. I told you guys, this thing is man. As I said, this is something you put on permanently. <laughs> oh, gosh. I can't get the... I can't even get the thing off! Holy crud. Anyways, um... This is going to take me a while. If you would like to get this thing, I'll put a link down in the description. Again, this is like a permanent addition for your Switch. Uh... I will also put a link down to a softer, more rubberized one that's easier to get off for those that might want to take it in and off or have an easier on and off experience. Uh, but I'll put a, a specific link to the Orts Gaming. Uh, to be full disclosure, they did send this to me for free. They are not paying me for this. I've actually been holding on to this for quite a while waiting to make this video. Um, but after doing a lot of testing, I, I can't suggest it unless you're looking for a permanent protection um, thing, which some people, some parents might. As an example, I have a case on my son's tablet that never comes off. Um, and it was very hard to put on, and I don't care because it has saved that tablet many times. So for some parents, this might be a worthwhile venture. Uh, for me, it's a pass. Anyways, folks, uh, thank you for tuning in for this look at the Orts Gaming N-Switch Case with Stand. I appreciate uh, your guys' time, and I will catch you guys in the next one.